Here we have Kevin McCarthy, the minority leader of the Republican House, who is aching to become speaker, even though speaking isn't really his strong suit. But then again, that's the GOP for you these days. Whereas normally the cream rises to the top, in this party, you only get ahead if you aren't very smart, unsuitable for your job, or even better, if you are a full-blown gangster, sexual abuser, or crackpot then you really move ahead fast. Kevin here is illustrating for us two key principles, one corresponding to life in general and especially politics, and the other to the wisdom of astrology. In life and politics, if you don't know what you're talking about, your best course of action tends to be don't talk about it or research the topic and make sure what comes out of your mouth isn't open to immediate challenge or rebuke due to error or hypocrisy. McCarthy, as is common for just about every GOP representative these days, is always looking to score political points. So now he's trying to mock Biden for the fact his democratic administration is promoting dialogue with the Taliban in order to get out of Afghanistan with as little carnage as possible. So, thinking that we are all blissfully unaware of what has already transpired, and has been recorded for future reference, you know, in case there is any argument or doubt, McCarthy expressed contempt for the Biden administration at a press conference, saying, why would you negotiate with the Taliban? Really, Kevin, have you forgotten what your Mar-a-Lago master was doing with the Taliban in 2020? Did you forget he wanted to bring these 7th century thugs to Camp David in order to work out a deal? What do you call that, Kevin? But why would we be surprised? Since after all, Kevin isn't exactly proficient in the matter of words and what they mean. So I guess it wouldn't occur to him to realize that was an attempted negotiation. That or the other disease that afflicts most Republican politicians these days and most especially since Trump came on the scene to degenerate their strategy to persistent hypocrisy and shameless gaslighting. So according to current Republican talking points strategy, Biden is stupid and weak for negotiating with the Taliban, even while the orange menace essentially facilitated this very outcome when he removed most of the soldiers on the ground. And we could also add that likewise, in a very real sense, the Taliban smartly negotiated this outcome for themselves by talking the self-proclaimed greatest deal maker ever into doing it. In the astrology, the message is short and sweet, or, given that we're talking about Saturn, short and bitter. But the idea is, when Saturn is transiting near your sun, you should stay contained, self-disciplined, watch what you say, and if anything, say as little as possible, because there's a good chance it either will not sit well, or even blow up in your face. His Saturn is tightly square the moon at birth. So if he plays it the wrong way, it's going to hurt. And this transit continues deep into the fall, right through a very challenging October when Saturn stations and into November before it moves beyond his sun. My sense is that not only is this not a good period for McCarthy, Saturn transiting through the sun is foundational toward the long term. What you do then tends to carry forth many years forward, which means gaslighting and hypocrisy now lead to failure later. So he is effectively harming his future political prospects, which, as I at the very least implied in a prior video he was featured in, aren't very good, including his fervent wish to replace Nancy Pelosi in November of 2022.